Thanks for watching and today I wanted to share a beautiful Calc 1 problem that I found on the UCI Math Instagram page. Namely, consider the parabola y is 1 minus x squared. Let's find two points on that parabola such that the triangle formed by the x-axis and both of those tangent lines is equilateral. In other words, find two points such that this triangle here is equilateral. So it's like the triforce of calculus. And for this, as I said, just some simple geometry and a bit of derivatives. So suppose this point is of the form a 1 minus a squared. Then let's find the equation of the tangent line at that point which is y minus 1 minus a squared equals to the derivative at a, so minus 2a, a times x minus a. And then we want to do two things to it. On the one hand, at least from geometric considerations and symmetry, it seems that the vertex of this triangle is on the y-axis. So it's of, of the form 0 comma something. Well, let's find that something by simply letting x equal 0 in that tangent line. So y minus 1 minus a squared equals minus 2a times 0 minus a. And so that becomes y equals 1 minus a squared plus 2a squared. So y is 1 plus a squared. So what we know is that the y-intercept is at 0, 1 plus a squared. That's one thing. And well, let's now play the same spiel with the x-intercept. Why? Because then we know the height, and then we know the base, and then we can figure out what to do. All right, but it's the same thing. You have that tangent line, and then this time you just want to set y equals 0. So minus 1 minus a squared equals minus 2a x minus a. Well, a is not 0 here, so what we get is 1 minus a squared over 2a equals x minus a. So x is a plus 1 minus a squared over 2a, which becomes, I think, 2a squared plus 1 minus a squared over 2a. And this just simplifies to, I think, 1 plus a squared over 2a. So what we get is now this intercept, 1 plus a squared over 2a, and then 0. And, well, by symmetry, the other point is the opposite. So minus 1 plus a squared over 2a, comma 0. And again, this is good because now we can simply determine the base of the triangle and the height. Okay, so first of all, what is the height of the triangle? Well, it's just 1 plus a squared. And what is the base? All about the base, but the base. Well, let's see. This distance is 1 plus a squared over 2a, which is the same thing as this distance. So it's just 2 times that. So base equals 1 plus a squared over a. All right, and then there's two ways of approaching this. The one I've seen on the UCI Math webpage, they just calculate this distance and set it equal to this distance. But there is a slightly easier way of doing this with this Pythagorean theorem trick. Because if you have an equilateral triangle, remember that the height is square root of 3 over 2 times a base. And it's kind of the only height that does that. Otherwise, it's too big. So literally, we just need to set the height to be square root of 3 over 2 times a base. 
So 1 plus a squared is square root of 3 over 2 times 1 plus a squared over a. But the cool thing is there is this common factor. And then multiplying stuff out, we get a is square root of 3 over 2. And all we need to do now to solve this problem is figure out those two points. Well, a is square root of 3 over 2. And then 1 minus a squared, I think it's 1 minus 3 quarters, so which becomes 1 quarter. And again, by symmetry, this gives you minus square root of 3 over 2, 1 quarter. And of course, we can do more fun things. Let's determine the other vertices. Why not? Just to waste your time. Uh, 1 plus a squared is 1 plus 3 quarters, so 7 quarters. Orders. And then finally, so uh, 1 plus a squared over 2a, uh, I think you can just calculate this to be 7 over 4 squared of 3. Something like that. Of course, because uh, a, 2a is square root of 3, so you're just dividing by square root of 3. 0, and the other one is minus 7 over 4 square root of 3. Zero. So it's kind of neat. I did not expect stuff to be so irrational, but I guess this is the nature of geometry. All right, if you like this and want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.